Hello, English teachers. My name is Lorena Germán, and I teach and I live in Austin, Texas. Today, instead of writing to you, I just want to talk to you, and I hope you can give me a couple of your moments. I want to challenge you, and I want to ask you some questions. I want us to think about how we are responding and teaching in this United States that we get to work in right now. Due to our political context, what we teach and how we teach, it is something for us to really be intentional about. When students graduate our schools and don't have a clear and confident sense of self that is both age appropriate, but one that affirms that their freedom depends on everyone being free, as part of the team that was supposed to achieve that, we have failed. You failed, I failed, our schools have failed. So because our schools aren't really doing it, spend time on your own professional development so that you can become a culturally sustaining educator that searches past silence, searches past those moments where we feel like our students are disengaged or disconnected. Stop wasting time putting out mediocre and irrelevant lessons. This isn't about sharing your political beliefs or standing in front of the class on your soapbox and critiquing politicians. Our students hear that enough. They know what adults think. This is deeper than that because these issues didn't just occur now in these 2016 elections. We've been here before. This isn't new. This is about teaching in a way that creates lasting, lifelong change. Not teaching this way doesn't make you apolitical. In fact, it's very political. You are sustaining systems of oppression when you are silent. You are involved. Silence is complicity. Our current political climate and the historic oppression of communities of color, of me, of my family, of, of my body, they won't allow you to just Netflix and chill. It is demanding more of us. It is time to teach. Let's go.